Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into your energy reading. And in this energy today, it feels like uh, change is good. Okay, so something is changing in your life for the better. And you might not feel like it's for the better because when things are changing in your life, it almost feels like it's uncomfortable for you guys. Okay, so something feels uncomfortable. There's a significant change happening in your life, in your world. This could be in your workplace. This could be where you live. This could be in a connection that you're dealing with. This could be with other people, communication, all right? The way you communicate to other people, things are changing in your life. What you tell other people, all right? You're, you're, you're keeping something close to your chest as well. Uh, I, I feel like you have some, like, you get some, like, groundbreaking information, you discover some information or it's brought to your attention. Okay, so change is good. Go with the flow. Things have to happen in order for things to shift and change in your life. All right, so uh, don't stop believing that the Ten of Cups is yours. It is your birthright. You have a significant individual that is ready to come towards you, that they're ready to partner up with you. They're ready to make things work. They're ready to have a solid foundation together with you and bring the family together or bring you, you and this person's families together. Okay, if this doesn't have to do with love, the Ten of Cups could talk about long-term long stability, growth, evolution, uh, you mastering yourself, you, you finding your place in the world, and you uh, expanding your higher self. It, it's making me feel like the Ten of Cups is like a completion in your life. Like, you know, something is finally going to come into fruition. Something is going to finally happen. Divine love and harmony. Blissful, having a blissful relationship, inner happiness, fulfillment, dreams come true, family contentment, all right? This is what it's all about. This is what we all want, and this is your energy for the month of May. Ten of Cups, okay? And somebody that was in your energy that was very domineering and controlling, uh, this person had a lack of discipline. This person was very rigid, stubborn, violent, or rude. This is giving me like Debo energy, that Debo energy. Well, the Debo energy in your life, they, they feel defeated. This individual, this Debo character, male or female, okay? Because somebody has this Debo energy. It could be a male, it could be a female. If it is a female, it is a female that is very masculine, okay? And that is very rude, all right? And has a lack of discipline and very controlling. Trying to control things around you has only put this person in a dark timeline. So if somebody's in a dark timeline... You could be dealing with another Aries for sure, but this is like the Emperor card in reverse. This is somebody that's um. This is somebody that everything that this person worked hard for, uh, this person put bad intentions out into the universe. This person's objective and their motive and their agenda was to keep you blocked. Was to uh keep you feeling insecure. It was to control your behavior, your actions, your decisions. It was to control how you love yourself. This person had a dark agenda in your life. This person was connected with authority figures. This person was connected with uh, somebody in the government system. Oh, this person could have been connected to um, a group of warlocks. This person could have been connected with a secret society. So this could be an elder in your life. It doesn't have to be an elder, but it's somebody that's in their age. This is not somebody that's a young person. This is somebody that's in their age, okay? And they were getting away with something for a long time. But now you get some groundbreaking information and it's changing everything here. It's changing the whole dynamic because now the uh, energy has shifted in your favor. You're on a new timeline and this dark warlock or dark high priestess emperor in reverse, this domineering individual, very rude and uh, untrustworthy, just reckless. This individual is left out of your energy, but this individual also has a lot of explaining to do. That's what I heard. This person is going to be put in the spotlight. This person could be, uh, this could be like going on the news. This could be going viral online, whatever this person was doing, whatever they got caught up in. Or it's just like people are talking about this in your family or in your community, whoever this person is. They're experiencing something right now. And um, there's no way they're getting, a, they're going to be able to get their self out of it. Because the truth is already seen. It's exposed. So somebody felt like they didn't have a choice. So whatever they were doing, whatever they were a part of, they didn't have no choice. They were forced to do something. But we all have a choice and that's not true. This person had a choice. 
Okay, this person felt like there was no right choice. This person felt like they were in, in some sort of illusion or they're going to make the excuse that they were confused about something, that they were fearful of what could happen to them if they didn't take action against you, if they didn't do what they were told. So it feels like there's another Aries that was actually being told to do something into in your energy. This person felt like they had, this is what they're going to tell you or they're telling you is that they had no control, that they had no choice, that they had to do something. But that is not true. We all have a choice. This person thought it was a good idea because they thought that it would be an easy task to defeat you, to get you out of something, to lie on you, to, uh, I don't know, to have you going down a downward spiral, to put you in the two of swords, to uh, make something believable. This person could have lied on you in court. Or they, you could have had to get a restraining order on this person. Or this person was just doing the most. They were very, uh, they showed you their true colors a lot of times. This person's match fell off around you. And that's that's why your ancestors have removed this person out of your energy. Once this person got out of your life and in your energy, you started to win. You started to accomplish things. Your blessings started to move forward. Your blockages were removed. Or this is what's happening now. Whether it's happening now or it happened already. A lot of you guys are on different timelines. But I feel like somebody was trying to cause you a lot of confusion, a lot of worry, a lot of fear, having you stuck in your head, not making a decision. All right. Somebody has an information overload. So you could be watching too much tarot. Be mindful how much tarot you watch or readings or uh, somebody has an information overload. Maybe you're getting a lot of downloads. Maybe you're getting a lot of messages all at once. And it's like a lot of information. So be mindful of that. You don't want to have an information overload. When you feel like this is happening, write things down in your notebook. Write the messages down so you can get them off your chest. You can share them with others or you can just write it down. You can also meditate to transmute energies and calibrate yourself. Because I feel like whoever you are, you're getting a lot of messages, a lot of downloads, a lot of information all at once. And it feels a, a little overwhelming here. Because you had to release something in order for the delays to be removed in your life, okay? Somebody was causing delays. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and another Aries is here. Okay, um, so for the month of May, this is the message for you guys. You need to be confident in everything that you do, okay? You need to do whatever feels right to your heart. And anything that you do, do it out of a good space. Do it from a good uh, you know, make sure that whatever you're doing, you have good intentions while you're doing it. Doing things out of good intentions is going to manifest great joy and blessings and abundance in your life. Okay. And then I heard, uh, egg crates, something about egg crates or eggs. Maybe somebody here eating too much eggs. They're getting high cholesterol, not eating enough eggs, something about eggs. Maybe you need to take an egg cleansing. Okay. Cause I just heard egg crates. Okay, I have, change is good. So I have a message here for you guys that change is good for the month of May. There's significant change happening in your energy, but it is all good. It is for the better. So go with the flow. Do not resist change because change has to happen in order for you to have a transformation, in order for you to be in a position to win, in order for you to be aware of the people around you, in order for you to be at your highest vibration, in order for you to manifest your abundance and be in your purpose, change has to happen. Okay, my loves? So change is good. So in the month of May, things could be feeling like they're topsy-turvy or things are not uh, panning out. Something isn't panning out because the Most High God is blocking you from going down that path, working at that job, living in that house, being with an individual. God is blocking this for you because it is not meant for you. It is not for your highest good. So learn how to not resist change. All right? When the ending happens, it's because there's a new beginning coming. Okay? So this is your message to God or this is like a conversation that you are having with the Most High God. Lord, you are constant. Your love, once accepted, cannot be returned. You ended my old life, renewed my old self. I am forever changed by your unchanging love. Most days, this brings me such joy. It is so much better to spend my days with you than in my old empty pursuits. But there are other days, like a new pair of jeans, sometimes this new life feels a little bit sketchy, a little stiff. Will you help me through it, Father? Remind me that change is good. Even when I'm doubting it, stay with me in this new place until it fits like a second skin. Wow. Okay, so I got the holy chills all over my body reading this message. And you could, you, these, are the, these are the questions that you have for the Most High or this is the way you're feeling. Like, you know change is imminent or you know you had to walk away from something or you know you had to start doing something different or you know you had to shed your old skin but it feels a little sketchy, a little bit uncomfortable. 
You feel like a little bit empty because you're all alone in this pursuit, but you're not alone. You're backed up by all your ancestors and the Most High, and you're coming together with like-minded people, okay? And you're going to come towards the opportunities that are meant for you, okay? So God ended your old life, and He renewed this one. He renewed you for this new life. And you will be forever changed by God's love that He has to give to you, by His understanding and by His light that He brings to your life. So you are no longer walking blinded. So, um, yeah, even though this feels a little bit rough and sketchy, God is reminding you that change is good. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and a new life has begun. Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. That is a good message. So since you uh, gave it up to the Most High or you walking in your purpose and you walking in the light and you're choosing to heal and you're choosing to help others or you're choosing to do something with your spiritual gifts and abilities for the better of humanity or for the better because you're using your gifts for good. Okay, so anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. You definitely have become a new person. The old you is dead and gone. The old me is dead and gone, dead and gone. Oh, oh, I've been working on this road too long. So yeah, you, 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 you're, the old you is dead and gone. And now the new you manifested the Ten of Cups. And this karmic in your energy, Debo energy, okay, is obsessively thinking about what kind of excuse to give to you. To make an excuse for their behavior, to make an excuse for what they did to you, to make an excuse for why they were uh, they worked against you. This person has a lot of excuses, but this person doesn't really mean it. They just want to get back into your energy so they can try to finish the job. That's crazy. They could have been working with a Queen of Pentacles, Poison Ivy energy. But you took a leap of faith and you invested in something, Seven of Pentacles, and it's going to bring you... A blessing is going to reap you good karma. So somebody here in your energy, it could be a family, sibling, uh, sibling, family member, um, son or daughter, whoever it is. This siblings or this sibling or this daughter or family member could be an elder, father figure, mother figure, uncle, whatever. They're in despair, okay? Because uh, everything is coming down, crashing on them in their life. This person could be overindulging. They could be alcoholic. They could be on substances. This person has a dark entity attachment, all right? And they wanted to ruin and sabotage everything for you, all your blessings, in order uh, to keep you stuck, okay? Because they took an oath to do so, all right? But what I'm getting is that somebody's trying to ruin your wish fulfillment. If, listen, you have inheritance. You have spiritual inheritance, and I feel like you also have material inheritance. If you didn't receive this inheritance yet, you will. And somebody was really trying to sabotage that inheritance for you. They didn't want you to have the Ace of Cups. They didn't want you to have a long-term success. They didn't want you to have a, 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 a beautiful love relationship with someone. And this Hermit in Reverse, there's a Virgo that's under judgment because Hermit in Reverse is that they're, they're plotting with an Aries. So there's a Virgo and an Aries that are working together somehow and a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. These people have been teaming up behind the scenes, but it's all being exposed. All right, because now they feel like they got to go back to the drawing board. They got to try to do something or make a new plan in order to block you. But here goes the Ace of Cups. This is your winning season. This is your moment. You manifested something, whether this is a love offer, somebody's taking a leap of faith. They want the Ten of Cups. They want to give to you. They want to make an investment, bringing your families together. Or this is an investment that pays off because somebody's going to offer you a position in a company or you're going to get the, uh, a higher paying raise or promotion or you can start your own business and be collaborating with somebody who wants to partner with you. Somebody definitely wants to partner with you and they want to invest in you. They want to invest in what you got going on in your business and, you know, being a team together, long-term wealth and success for you and this person that you're partnering up with. Some of you guys are doing it all by yourself. Congratulations. All right, but somebody's burnt out. They're exhausted. They're depleted. They can't keep up with you. They can't stop you. They can't slow you down. Your energy is too powerful. This person is, is experiencing some sort of delays and cancellations. Maybe if you have a business and somebody made an appointment with you or they scheduled something with you for an appointment for a business, they're going to cancel because they knew that they, had, they, they were sent in. All right, somebody was sent towards you. To uh like to get a purchase purchase your product or like to request a service from you to try to book your service because you have your own business this is not for everybody, but they were sent in 
by somebody else in order to trap you in some sort of shady business dealing or in order to lie on you that you didn't give them the service, that your product sucks or that you scammed them, in order to make you look bad, give you a bad review. This was orchestrated, okay? But you're overcoming that because the truth is being seen, all right? Because somebody, people are seeing for themselves. People are seeing for themselves who you are, what you are about, how you handle yourself and what you bring to the table and how you do your job flawless, Okay, I heard flawless victory. All right, somebody could be a gamer. Somebody likes to play video games. All right, somebody could be uh, working at a funeral home or something about a funeral home. Hmm, a shady funeral home. Oh, my God, I got the nasty, weirdest vision. Okay, so then I'm picking up on a weird funeral home that's in, involved with selling bodies or organs of people that they said they cremated. They Okay, so people that are being cremated... Their families are being given an ashes of something else or something else. or Like, okay, so I, I pick, oh my gosh, I'm picking up on a funeral home. Maybe you guys live near a funeral home, and that could be confirmation of this message for you. Or somebody works at a funeral home, you know, or there's something suspicious about a funeral home where you took one of your loved ones there. But I see this funeral home not uh, cremating the whole body. This funeral home is taking the organs, selling them, making money, trafficking these things, or they're taking certain body parts and, and selling them on the black dark market or whatever they're selling them for or doing with them, all right? This funeral home is invo involved with some a, a dark group of society members or people, and they're getting a lot of money off people's loved ones that are being cremated. They're not giving the person the whole loved one's ashes. This is crazy. There's an investigation onto this funeral home, and... Um, I feel like they're being, um, there's like a raid. Okay, so there's a raid going on in some funeral home. Let me keep it moving. All right, I don't like that message. That could have been done to one of your family members. That could be going on in your area. But this is going to be on the news. So this is going to be like breaking news. So you'll be able to see this on the news popping out about this funeral home, okay? And um, everything that's going on in Dubai right now, you guys know it's the reckoning. This is the reckoning. All these dark high priests and warlocks trying to ma manipulate the weather, trying to manipulate energies, trying to get away with their dark agendas, trying to uh, traffic humans and doing what they what they did uh, to people for a long time with children. They're not getting away with it. There's all these whistleblowers coming out here, and they're going down. And you are one of the ones in the front line. I feel like whoever you are, you're on the front line of this whole thing. It feels like you're the whistleblower or like you've been helping people with clues or investigators or there's like an investigator watching you online because you're giving this this investigator clues on the case that they're working on because you're using your gifts and intuition. This is crazy. Let me keep it moving now. Okay, this reading went left. I don't know. This, this is what I'm channeling. All right, this is what I channel. So let's get right in. Take the message that resonates and leave the rest. You have jealous co-workers, too. Um, there's there's going to be a strike. Okay, so there's going to be a strike at somebody's job or at, in, in, a, in, a, in a facility. There's going to be a strike. So, like, union workers going on strike or, like, a whole bunch of people going on strike at these jobs or facilities because of whatever they're doing, whatever they're putting in the food, whatever they're putting in your products, whatever they're making these workers package up for you guys. I feel like a whole bunch of workers are going on strike and they're going to be also whistleblowers that uh, expose a company, a warehouse, to what they're putting in your products, in your food, in your soap, in your shampoo, in your drinks, in your water bottles. Oh, my gosh. All right. This is just like the, the truth on earth. There's a bunch of coworkers that are going on strike. Maybe this is for some other reason. But there's like a strike. So there's a strike. There's a protest. There's protesters. There's protesting going on. You're going to see all this happening because the truth is being exposed. And somebody had a crooked lawyer. They were working with a crooked lawyer. Um, and they were coming for you, all right? Working with a crooked lawyer. Ooh, we, because you're chosen, because there was a home, inheritance, or money, or a business, or something that you, you were meant to inherit, or you were meant to have. And so they were trying to do everything they could to block you. There's a mother figure that's trying to manipulate a child against somebody here. A karmic mother figure working with a, trying to manipulate a child against you, all right? Or this is happening to someone around you. But you have somebody that's very sorry they walked away. And then you have rags to riches, all right? So a huge tower moment brings you a huge blessing. A tower moment for someone else is justice in your favor, and you will be compensated. So someone is exposed. There's a lawyer. There's a mother. There's individuals that are exposed for stealing something or doing something fraudulently. 
in your energy or to you with something that belongs to you. It could be a lawsuit. It could be money inherited. It could be a property sold illegally. It could be someone sold your car or you got hit in an accident. Or something that you were meant to be paid for, they tried not to compensate you. They got to compensate you now. All right, so now a new project or deal is coming up to the light. Or uh, a new project or business deal is happening for you. Make sure that you look over the contract with a lawyer. Make sure that you read the fine print. Make sure you know what you're getting in yourself into before you sign a contract deal. Because somebody here was working with a shady lawyer to try to get somebody else in a shady business deal. And so now they're stuck there. So don't be the one to fall for that. Get your own lawyer. Don't use this person's lawyer because they could be working with a shady lawyer. Side message for someone. So there's a neighbor here watching everything you do, spying on you. This neighbor's pocket watching or this neighbor's weird and obsessed or possessed. And then you have a karmic cousin that's going to confess something to you because this karmic, co karmic cousin is experiencing some supernatural events in their energy. A karmic father. Then I heard Byron or Baron or somebody wanted to block somebody's womb from having children so they could be barren. So somebody's womb was blocked because somebody was doing womb magic on you or someone for, or someone else not to have a child. But guess what? You're about to get pregnant or somebody's about to get pregnant that everybody thought could not have a child. And this is going to be a surprise for a lot of people because God did that. Because God did that. God removed the blockage and somebody was meant and destined to have a chosen child. Whether this is you or someone you're dealing with. There's a karmic father figure that's under judgment because they were invested in doing something in your energy, manipulating your child or manipulating your life, moving away from this person. You're, you're getting a huge payout or money's increasing. A daughter could be going through something. A daughter could be sick or ill. Good news is coming. Somebody's left in mental conflict because you figured them out and you pulled back your energy and you started moving accordingly and now you transmuted something that someone sent and it's all backfiring in their energy now. But you're you're moving forward. You have you have it feels like you have this confidence about yourself that you didn't have before. So now they don't know how to like get around trying to uh, hinder you, block you, manipulate you, confuse you, get you to get into a shady business deal because you're very intuitive. So if your ancestors said this is a trap, then listen to spirit. If your ancestors said, uh, this is shady, this is weird, this is not right, there's something wrong, then pay attention to that energy too, okay? Because this is like your season. This is like your season of where the season of you winning, the season of you expanding yourself, the season of you uh, removing all the obstacles and challenges of your life, all right? Breaking some sort of generational narcissistic uh, curse in your family here, all right? So a healer, you're a healer of all the ages, you have healing energies that vibrate through you, through your being, through your spirit, through your voice, all right, through your thoughts and energy and your hands, all right? And there's a dark warlock magician. I can't make this up. These cards came right out. That's very dark and envious of you, and they want to strip you of your powers. They want to harness all your energy, but this person is depleting themselves. There's somebody that's elder, and there's somebody that's a little bit younger, and these two individuals were working together. It's like a, it's like a witch and a warlock working together to try to bring you down. But you're like connected to the Most High God, and you're like angelic, and you're being backed by the divine. And they can't seem to do it because your third eye chakra is more powerful than ever before. You're backed up by Archangel Metatron, sixth chakra. They're trying to block your root chakra too. All right, so continue to work on yourself and transmute these energies. It's time for you to make a decision you've been thinking about making. Make a decision. Do not let these people keep you stuck making an indecision because that's when you start to feel like everything is crumbling down. That's when you start to feel blocked. Make a decision and move forward. All right? Open the door to value. Making a decision, the, your next move should be your next move because this decision is going to bring you your harvest. Beautiful blessings to come. Okay? This is your reading. I love you guys. If you guys are interested in a personal or you are interested in Crown Chakra Protection Spray, let me know. Liquid Gold is available. If you're interested in Be Gone Spiritual Bath, let me know. It is available as well. I love you guys. And for those of you that ordered, you will get your receipt and tracking numbers today, this afternoon. Thank you so much. Till the next time, namaste.